So this video is really important for getting an overview of all the factors that affect cardiac output, which we're going to spend pretty much the rest of the week um, referring back to. So I'm going to refer back to these components and the image I'm about to draw numerous times throughout this week. So cardiac output, output you know it's a function of stroke volume and heart rate. I'm going to do these in different colors. So each of those things can be um, regulated and adjusted. So let's do stroke volume first. Stroke volume is dependent on, determined by the force of contraction. Where, right, in the myocardium, um, the ventr ventricular, myocardium. Okay. In. What determines the force of contraction of the ventricular myocardium? Two things. One is contractility. So the contractility of the myocardium. So this is going to be dependent on calcium levels. We've already reviewed this briefly. We'll look at it again. but you should know that can, um, the force of contraction is, can be regulated by calcium. This is called contractility. The other thing that can determine the force of contraction is the end diastolic volume. So the volume itself actually changes the force. Again, we'll go into all this, look at how this happens. The end diastolic volume is going to depend on venous return so the, the volume of blood returning from circulation. And contractility is going to be regulated by our sympathetic nervous system. I'm just gonna put this oh no, sympathetic. It's going to affect contractility as well as affect venous return through constriction, venous constriction. So the two things we'll be looking at is regulation of contractility and regulation of end diastolic volume that both regulate stroke volume. Heart rate can also be regulated. So heart rate is dependent on what? You could do this, right? Depolarization of what? The pacemaker cells, those autorhythmic cells. Depolarization rates can be regulated, right? So we could have a decrease due to parasympathetic. Actually, let me, let me reverse the one, right? That arrow. This could be regulated by the parasympathetic nervous system. Or look, sympathetic nervous system. And I could even go ahead and add in here, this is going to decrease depolarization rate. This is going to increase it. Um, this is going to increase both of these things. So, we are gonna come back to all these mechanisms, but this is an overview. We're gonna look at the regulation of heart rate by altering depolarization rates by the autonomic nervous system. And we're gonna look at regulation of stroke volume by changing contractility of that myocardium, as well as the volume that is in the ventricle.